Okay, so we're going to discuss uh, flam rudiments. And before we can do that, we need to know what a flam is. So here's a flam. Now let me explain uh, my interpretation for a flam. Um, a flam is really a grace note, and a grace note is basically a little note that leads up to kind of an anchor note or an accent note, but it doesn't always have to be accented, but I, I do call it an anchor note. So for instance, if I'm playing a single, just regular note, and I want to make that a flam, I'm going to play a little note in my left hand leading up to the right hand. Okay? Now, uh, there's a lot of discussion about how open or closed you want your flams. An open flam would be this. A very closed or flat flam would be this. My preference is to play a flam that sounds like a flam, but does not sound like a rhythm. So if you play this, that's so open it sounds like a different rhythm to me. But uh, but uh. But if you play a flat flam, you can't even really tell there's a flam going on there. So I like something in between that. Okay, so that's a flam for me. And a right-handed flam means the right hand is high and the left hand is low, and you play your flam. A left-handed flam would be left hand high, right hand low, and then play your flam. Okay? Now, don't, don't get this confused with what's called a double stop. A double stop, um, I don't think traditionally they consider it a rudiment, but what a double stop is, is you play two notes at the same time with both hands at the same height. That's not a flam. Okay, this is a flam. Or this. So that's what a flam is. Okay, so first flam rudiment we're going to talk about, other than the flam, is the flam accent. So what the flam accent is, is you're playing an accented flam, but traditionally you're playing two notes in between your flams. And you alternate. So what that means is, is if you're playing a right flam, you got to follow it with a left note and a right note. And then you play a left flam, followed by a right note and a left note. So really slow, this rudiment is this. Okay? And this is a very common rudiment. You'll play this a lot. So this is your flam accents. Okay? And your next one is related to it. It's called a flam drag. And a flam drag is this. You're going to play a flam followed by a diddle. And then a right hand after that if you did a right hand flam. So all together would be. And if you did it left handed, it would be. It would be the opposite. So if you play it back to back, it's kind of like the flam accent, but what you're doing is with that middle note immediately following the uh, flam, you're going to play a diddle. So you can change the context of this though, I mean you can do this, those are still flam drags, I'm just changing the context. So those are your flam drags. Next up we have the flamadiddle. Uh, the flamadiddle is simply a paradiddle, but you put a flam on it. So what I did was play a right-handed paradiddle, but I put a flam at the beginning of it where that accent is. So right, left, right, right. And of course left-handed would just be the opposite. So if I go back and forth, 
Those are my flam a diddles. And then we have flam a diddle diddle. So that's like the paradiddle diddle. You just start it with a flam. Left handed would be the opposite. Okay. So that's your flam a diddle diddle. Okay, next we have flam taps. This is what they sound like. And when you play flam taps, what you're gonna do is play a right handed flam, followed by a right handed tap. And then you go to your left hand and do the same thing. Left hand flam, left hand tap. So if you go back and forth, slowly, what you have. A little faster. And a little faster. A little faster. So those are your flam taps. Okay, next we have a flam cue. What you're doing here is you're playing a right hand flam followed by a left hand accent. So the right flam is not accented, it's just a right flam. The accent's in the left hand. And then two more notes, and then end it with a flam. And that flam does have an accent on it. And if you did the opposite, it would be a left flam, right hand accent, and then a left flam. So this is a kind of a cool rudiment because it's just alternating. You're playing right, left, right, left, right. But you're throwing in a bunch of articulations in there. A flam is a type of articulation. Articulation refers to the type of sound you're creating. So you got a right flam and then a left hand accent. An accent is also an articulation, followed by two taps, which is another type of art, uh, articulation. And then flam accent. Okay, so that's your uh, flam a cue. All right, next we have an inverted flam tap. Now, if you remember with a flam tap, you're playing a right flam followed by a right tap. And then you go to the left hand and follow the same idea. But for an inverted flam tap, when you play a right hand flam, you're going to play a left tap after that. So it'll be like this. And then if you do a left flam, you do a right tap. So going back and forth, this is what you have. It's kind of a difficult rudiment. Um, you know, the sound is a little bit different than a flam tap, for instance. Like a flam tap has a lot of rebound in the way that you play. But when you play an inverted flam tap, it kind of um, creates an agogic accent, kind of a not not so much a intentional accent, but it's it's there because of how you're playing it. Because in order to do this, you got to stroke it out. You stroke out that flam, you got kind of an accent happening um, on its own. Versus the regular flam tap. Okay, so those are your flam taps. Uh, and that one was the inverted flam tap. Next, we have a pad of flaw flaw, which is a very funny name for this rudiment, but here's what's going on. And the flaw flaw idea is that you're playing two flames in a row. So when you play this rudiment, you're going to play right, left, right, left, right. Five notes. First note is a flam. The fourth note is a flam, and then the last note's also a flam. So you're going to go. So at the end of that, you have two flams. So if you did a left-handed, it would be, uh, of 
course, the opposite. Okay, so those are your pad of flaw flaws. Then we have a single flammed mill. These are uh, closely related to the flam tap because basically what you're doing at the beginning of this is playing a flam tap. A right hand flam and a right hand tap. And then you just play two single notes after that. And then it reverses it if you're playing them consecutively. So that's your single flamed mill. And then the last one we're going to talk about is your Swiss Army triplet. It's a fun rudiment to play. Um, it's kind of like a flam tap because you're going to start out that way. But then you're going to play left hand if you're, if you're doing it right handed. And then just keep repeating that. Repeat that. Okay, so those are your um, essential basic flam uh, rudiments.